Grandma got anointed in the spirit at a Pentecostal service Christmas Eve. You can say there's no such thing as Jesus, but as for me and my house, we believe. The church was advertising revival, so we begged Grandma to go. She left behind her medication, and she joined a whole family to watch the show. The preacher laid his hands on Grandma. Then she fell right to the floor. She opened her eyes and saw the glory, and the first thing that she said right there was more. Grandma got anointed in the spirit at a Pentecostal service Christmas Eve. You can say there's no such thing as Jesus, but as for me and my house, we believe. Now we're all so proud of Grandpa. He'd been taking it so well. Fell to his knees upon conviction as he confessed all sins that lead to hell. But things just aren't the same with Grandma. All our friends are taken aback. And they couldn't help but wonder, should they still be sending her gifts or take them back? Take them back! Grandma got anointed in a spirit at a Pentecostal service Christmas Eve. You can say there's no such thing as Jesus, but as for me and my house, we believe. Now she's invited to the Lord's table to eat the bread and drink the wine. People now say she's acting bonkers, but she says it's the first time she felt alive. I warn all my friends and neighbors, do not doubt this for yourselves. You should never question a miracle that could save a weary soul from going to hell. Grandma got anointed in the spirit at a Pentecostal service Christmas Eve. You can say there's no such thing as Jesus, but as for me and my house, we believe. Sing it, Gramp. Grandma got anointed in the spirit at a Pentecostal service Christmas Eve. You can say there's no such thing as Jesus, but as for me and my house, we believe. Merry Christmas.